Welcome to Where You Live for the month of August. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Shaw TV. We are on the brand new ship that is making its way between Comox and Powell River. And joining me is Captain Michael Smith. What is it that you like about this particular ship? Well, it's uh, modern technology. It's new. Um, it has that fresh car smell, which is a, a very nice thing to have. But mostly it allows us to do our job to our fullest capacity. We've okay. got the technology now that lets us do everything that we need to do without being hampered by essentially having older equipment. So now we can double end the vessel, for example. We can go in and out. We can save a lot of time that way. We can deal so with no weather. So there's no turning around. There's like, no turning okay, around. Okay, got it. Yeah. I'm looking around at the screens and everything is digital and high tech and it's pretty impressive. Well, it is. But because we know that computers don't always work, we do actually have generally a analog backup for everything. So okay. we have the old steam gauges, which our officer over there is pointing at. Awesome. So that in case the digital stuff doesn't work, we still okay. can go back to the old gauges. But the great thing Amazing. about the digital information, it gives us lots more information to be able to drive the ship in the way we want to. Okay. And I noticed when uh, they were boarding us, um, they had, we were on the upper deck, we weren't on the lower deck. Um, and I guess the lower deck was sealed below us already when we got on, um, is that we all loaded on one side. Yeah, we, all, we sometimes load, all depending on what the balance of the ship is. Our, our loading officer, as the ship is being loaded, will balance that. They'll check. They'll say, okay, I've got a heavy oh, truck on that okay. side. That means I need to balance one heavy truck with maybe 10 cars on the other side. Okay. Sometimes one heavy truck will be like 40 cars. So it all oh, depends on the cargo that you're carrying. And sometimes for the weather, if we can anticipate the weather we're going across, the wind will push us over. So we can kind of prepare for that by be leaning into the wind a little really? bit. Really? Once we get out into the strait, the wind will bring us back straight up. Now, what is it about this particular ship that you prefer, other than it's new, over the older ships? Well, for me, principally, there's two things. It has... Uh, the, the ability to maneuver is a lot better. So okay. it, has, it ha doesn't necessarily have more power. It has a little bit more speed, but it's got a great deal more maneuverability. The, the other vessel had just two propellers at one end, a very small bow thruster, and we were limited by weather. You were limited by sea conditions. This ship is a lot more capable that way. So oh. when we're coming into the dock or out of the dock or even simply maneuvering, it's just a whole lot more maneuverable. And is that because of the shape of the hull? It's because of the way the propulsion system is. Instead of okay. having two propellers at one end, we have one at each end of the ship, and they can turn around 360 degrees. So I can put one one way and do it the other way, and I can move the ship sideways if I want. Oh, I could never do cool. that with the old vessel. Or okay. I can turn it around on the spot. All right. I can do whatever I like. Now, is the shape of the hull different, though? It is very different. Okay. Uh, the old one was very f uh, fat and broad. If you want to say it, it's kind of wide and long. This okay. one tends to be much narrower and sharper, and it, it lets it cut through the wa waves a lot faster. Oh, okay. it, it's a lot better in weather, but it does give a, a different ride. It gives a very bumpy ride. <laughs> and we were talking a little early, earlier. The analogy yes. I used was compare an old car from the 70s very soft suspension, it's right. nice for the passengers, but you wouldn't want to go around the corner very fast in that. Right. And this one is much more like a sports vessel. It has a very stiff, tight suspension. It wants to stay flat and level all the time, okay. which means it's fast, it's good for maneuvering, but it will feel different for the passengers. It completely feels different. And yeah. there's a lot, lot more of a roll, mm -hmm. like a regular roll, like yeah. not once in a while. We're talking like yeah, regular. It's, it's a, quite so a bit of It takes a little yeah. bit of time to get used to it does. that stability. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a lot of regular passengers here. I think quite quickly we'll get comfortable with it. And same with right. our crew. It took our crew a few days to go, OK, this ship moves differently. OK. Yeah. Now, um, this is the beginning of our show, Where mm -hmm. You Live, and at the end of the show, we are going to talk to you again. Um, we're going to go down one level, I guess, to the That's engineer... That's right, engine control room. Engineer control room, okay. And um, it looks... I had a sneak peek, and it's very space-age looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for um, showing us the bridge. This is very impressive, and we'll catch up to you at the end of the show. Excellent, thanks. You're watching Where You Live. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We'll be right back.